So this video is an explanation of the gizmo water pollution. In this gizmo, you're going to look at four main types of water pollution. Um, we have toxic, sediment, nutrient, and bacterial. And what I see here is different dots where I can click and read about each one. So the first one, for example, this is toxic, and it says toxic pollutants are chemicals that can cause disease, death, or birth defects when ingested or absorbed by organisms. Toxic pollutants range from common household chemicals to industrial chemicals and mining waste. The effects of toxic pollutants vary widely. And so what you're going to do, you're going to go through, read each one of these, read about sediment, read about nutrient, and read about bacterial. You can take some notes on those, or you can just go back and forth. But then you're going to come over here to the examples. And they're going to give you 12 real world examples and you're going to have to decide what type of water pollution is happening here. So the first one we have, it says a chicken farmer stores all of the chicken manure from his farm in, a, in large piles next to the river. Remember manure is poop. So in this case, he's storing chicken poop next to the river. Throughout the spring and summer, the piles of manure are exposed to rain and wind. The farmer finally removes the manure in the fall. So if they're exposed to if the manure is exposed to wind and rain, that means that some of that manure is getting into the river. So manure has a lot of bacteria. Poop has a lot of bacteria in it. So I'm going to guess that this is probably a bacterial pollutant. Also, it has a lot of nutrients. We use manure to help grow different crops. So I'm going to guess it's probably a nutrient pollutant. So then you come down here and you check your answer. And here it says pollutant type, I was right, is nutrient and bacterial. Manure contains bacteria and is very high in nitrogen. During rainstorms, manure will run off into the river and cause bacterial and nutrient pollution. So then you go on to the next one. I'll do one more with you. This one says, instead of riding his bike, a college student drives to class every day. He also drives to the store, a friend's house, and everywhere else. Every time he fills up his tank, a little bit of gasoline drips to the ground. The car's exhaust contains nitrogen oxides, which contribute to nitrogen levels in nearby water uh, in nearby water bodies. So on this one, because it's gasoline, I'm gonna guess that it's probably a toxic pollutant that's leaking onto the ground. And then I'm also gonna guess because of that nitrogen and nitrogen helps plants grow, it's a nutrient as well. So I'm gonna check my answers down here. I was correct. And it says the gasoline that leaks at the gas station can make its way to local water resources, causing toxic pollution. Nitrogen oxides can contribute to acid rain and also raise levels of nitrogen in water bodies, causing both toxic and nutrient pollutants. Pollution. So now you're going to continue going on through these different examples, click through, taking your guesses. Um, what I will really want you thinking about is what actions can you take to reduce water pollution? Um, some of these are very simple, like properly disposing of harmful chemicals, such as paint, paint thinners, oils, cleaning solvents. Um, a lot of landfills have special places where you dispose of these so they do not get into the land and water. And then not using excessive amounts of fertilizer and making sure that your car is not leaking any specific fluids. So I hope this helps.